An FBI spokesman said today that so far the Bureau has not been able to corroborate charges that congressional pages have been pressured into sexual activity with members of Congress. And the spokesman said it's not a widespread, organized problem. Still, it is a scandal, but as Carol Simpson reports now, it cannot be considered surprising. ABC News talked with a 20-year-old former page who was interviewed by the FBI for two hours yesterday. He gave investigators the names of members of Congress and congressional staffers. He said shared sex and drugs with teenage pages three years ago. On at least one occasion, a certain uh, official in the House invited several pages out to his house where cocaine and uh, hashish and marijuana were freely available to the pages. If you could put a number on the number of congressional employees that you may have direct knowledge of involvement in illicit activity. How many would that be? Direct knowledge, 15 to 20. The names of congressmen alleged to be involved in the scandal have remained secret, but Idaho Republican Congressman Larry Craig, concerned that his name had been implicated, issued a public denial. Persons who are unmarried, as I am, uh, by choice or by circumstance, have always been the subject of innuendos, gossip, and false accusations. I think this is despicable. The charges of wrongdoing by congressmen with pages has been described in a book written by a former page. In it, he states, I knew of at least two homosexual congressmen, as did most everyone else at Capitol Page School. One of these congressmen actively sought out and apparently still seeks out homosexual relationships with minor male pages. Because he couldn't find a publisher, Stephen Ballantyne had the book published himself five years ago. It has been copyrighted by the Library of Congress and can be found on the shelves of the Senate Library in the Capitol. Carol Simpson, ABC News, on Capitol Hill.